Okay mga kawawma at in this video, we will have a follow-up activity on how to determine or identify whether the given polynomial is a polynomial function or not. So I have here p of x or the function of 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus 7x minus 5. Now remember that the decreasing powers of x, the polynomial is in standard form. So tatandaan po na na-discuss naman po ito sa ating previous video tutorial na kapag ang exponent ninyo o yung degree ng ating polynomial is naka-arrange po from, the, uh, from greater to uh, least, from gre uh, greatest to least uh, degree, O kaya yung tinatawag nating decreasing or descending pababa. So, that is uh, written in standard form. So, yun po yung standard form na tinatawag natin. So, in the given example, 2x cubed. So, as you can see, uh, I have here uh, on the third degree, second degree, first degree. Okay? And then, this is zero degree. Okay? So, as you can see, so this is written in standard form since our exponents are arranged in decreasing order. Now, remember, how are you going to identify whether the given um, polynomial is a polynomial or not? Okay? So, paano natin ba malalaman kung polynomial siya or not? So, dapat yun muna ang alam natin bago natin, bago natin masabing polynomial function siya. So, dapat you have to consider first yung polynomial itself. Okay? So, Paano ba natin malalaman na itong given na to, itong uh, expression na to ay uh, polynomial function or not? Okay? So, dapat alam muna natin kung polynomial siya or hindi. So, paano ba natin malalaman? So, the variable has no negative exponent. So, dapat ang exponent ng ating variable is always a whole number. Okay? So, tatandaan na kapag nakita nyo na ang exponent natin ay uh, nag-negative, ibig sabihin that is no longer a polynomial. Next, uh, the variable has no fractional exponent. So, again, just like what I said uh, dun sa ating negative exponent, uh, kapag nakita mo na merong fraction o naka-fraction siya, yung ating uh, exponent, then, that is not a polynomial. Okay? So, dapat tatandaan natin na ang exponent natin should always be a whole number. So, dapat lagi siyang whole number. Next, the variable is not inside the radical sign. So, kapag ang uh, variable mo ay nasa loob ng radical sign natin, then that is no longer a radic uh, polynomial function. Okay, why? So, hindi po natin dapat makita na ang variable ay nasa loob ng radical sign. Now, what if... Um, Ang nasa loob ay number, pero wala naman, what if I have an expression 3x, okay? So, if I have 3x, so 3, yung naka-radical, and then yung x hindi kasama dun sa radical sign. So, that is still a polynomial. Why? Kasi yung 3 mo naman ang nasa radical, yung x hindi. Okay, let's have another. So, I have here the variable... The variable is not in the denominator. So, once na may makita tayong variable sa ating denominator, then that is no longer a polynomial function. Let's have an example. Determine whether each of the following is a polynomial function or not. So, y is equal to negative x squared minus 9x raised to 4 minus 4x cubed. So, this is a polynomial. Okay. Right. So, this is a polynomial function. Okay. Kasi wala naman tayong, um, wala naman tayong negative na exponent. Hindi rin naman siya fraction. Wala naman tayong variable sa ating denominator. At wala tayong radical sign sa ating variable. Next. Is this a polynomial function or not? Correct. This is not a polynomial function because, okay, obviously, there is a variable in the denominator. Next, number 3. Y is equal to 2x plus 3x squared minus x raised to negative 3 plus 5. Is this a polynomial function? 
Correct. This is not a polynomial function because of our exponent. It is negative. So, uh, there should not be a negative exponent. Next, f of x is equal to x raised to 1 half minus x raised to 5 plus 10. Is this a polynomial function? Okay, this is not a polynomial function because of our exponent, which is a fraction. Let's have number 5. y is equal to 3x raised to square root of 3 plus square root of 3x squared plus 9x minus 2. Is this a polynomial function? Not. Okay, kasi obviously, ang atin pong exponent ay, ay hindi whole number. Okay, so ayun po. So, dapat whole number po ang ating exponent. Okay? Next, f of x is equal to 1, a negative 1 plus 2x plus x raised to 3 halves. Okay, so obviously, this is not a polynomial function because of our exponent, which is written in fraction. Next, negative 144x. Okay, this is a polynomial function. Why? Because, wala naman sa nabanggit yung... Uh, ano dito, wala dun sa mga nabanggit ang makikita natin sa ating given. And then, number 8, f of x is equal to uh, the quotient of x squared plus 25 plus 10x and x plus 1. So, is this a polynomial function? Not because of this. So, there should not be a variable in our denominator. Next, y is equal to 1 over 6x raised to 4 minus x squared plus 5x raised to 5 plus 7x cubed minus 5. Okay, so this is a polynomial function. And number 10, y is equal to square root of 3x. Is this a polynomial function? Yes. Okay, so I know some of you answered no. Why? Because iniisip natin na... Uh, present yung radical sign. Okay? But as you can see, if you will try to observe, to look at it, ang atin pong radical sign ay nasa uh, coefficient lang. Wala siya dun sa variable. Diba ang condition, hindi siya polynomial kapag may radical po ang ating variable. Wala naman pong radical ang ating variable. Okay? So, this is still a polynomial function. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.